Mm, ba, ba, ba. Greetings all, last outrider here, and today we celebrate the start of the Space Marine background series. Yes! We're going to start with the Salamanders and Vulcan Histan. Why start with them, you ask? Because Vulcan is going to be the next emperor, or the next being that is the emperor, because right now he's not going to be a Primarch after they're done with him. He's going to become something more. So because of that, and my little prediction in that regard, I'd like to start with who are the Salamanders? On top of that, very few people actually know very much about the Salamanders. So let's get right into it with Vulcan Histan. The hopes of the Salamanders Legion rest upon one space marine, Vulcan Histan. He is the most recent of that stalwart brotherhood to be named Forge Father. To be so honored is to be tasked with an epic quest, a journey that has been handed down in turn to the greatest heroes of the Legion since the mysterious disappearance of their beloved Primarch, Vulcan. For millennia, the Forge Fathers of the Salamanders has led the search to recover the legendary relics. At a simple request, any Forge Father could have drawn upon the full might of the chapter, for they would go to any length, suffer any losses, in order to find all of the missing artifacts. It is a salamander legend, as told in ancient tales and inferred from the Tome of Fire, that when all nine of the relics of Vulcan are recovered and returned once more to Nocturne, the Primarch himself will return to lead his sons to final victory. Before one can fully understand Vulcan Histan and his quest, one must first know the tale of the Salamanders. And now a quote. On the anvil of war are the strong tempered and the weak made to perish. Thus are men's souls tested as metal in the forge's fire. Vulcan, Primarch of the Salamanders. Ba ba ba. So let's get into the character background. The Salamanders. The Salamanders are one of the first of the 20 chapters of Space Marines, 20 legions, I think, founded by the Emperor himself. They were the 18th chapter legion until they were reunited with their Primarch, Vulcan, upon what would become their homeworld, the volcanic death world of Nocturne. At that point, they took the name Salamanders in tribute to the enormous reptilian drakes that were the apex predators of that harsh land. In the role of Imperium forces, the Salamanders have earned their rightful place amongst the finest ever to have served. Time and again, they have thrown themselves into the fires of war holding their ground or pressing the assault with a fierce determination. Over their long history, there are many examples of the Salamanders withstanding terrible odds, tenaciously waging war until they alone emerged triumphant. Since the massive battles of the Unification Wars, the Salamanders have sustained 90% or more casualties over a dozen times, bleeding themselves dry to preserve needed victory. Always, they rise again. 
Did you hear that statistic? The Salamander's Legion has been wiped out over 12 times in the last 10,000 years. 90 plus casualties just to be reformed again and again and again. That alone, I think people should take a little time to realize how unique they are as a legion. And there's a reason why I called them legion instead of a chapter, because the salamanders are the sole exception to the Ashtarte edict that Dorn uh, issued. We don't know what happened. All we know is that after they returned from the Istvan massacre, Vulcan went and met with Dorn in private, and they had some type of talk. And when Vulcan came out, Dorn, um, yeah, basically Dorn said the salamanders have his blessing to be an exception from the uh, uh, Codex Astarte rules. Actually, it probably was Dorn and Gulliman, now that you think about it. I mean, they, they probably would have both been in the, in the room at the same time. I don't remember the details. All I remember is that he asked for permission to be an exception, and the rest of the Primarchs agreed. So, they're still a legion. And there are no successor chapters, that means. Interesting stuff. Anyways, when the original legions were split during the second founding, there was no need to break up the salamanders. Ha! Ah, look at that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I really should read the next sentence before I, before I narrate, it seems. <laughs> they had sustained so many losses during the fighting of the Horus Heresy that their reduced strength would not warrant such measures. Or so argued Vulcan. Soon afterwards, Robert Gilliman and the Ultramarines, the Ultramarines Primarch laid down the standards for the Adeptus Astarte in the Codex Astarte. The Salamanders simply rebuilt their legion to chapter strength rather than the numbers that they had maintained before. So there you go. I guess that's the answer. Uh, they just, you know, they, they were wiped out, uh, 90, over 90% 90 wiped out. So instead of breaking them down, they just rebuilt up. But that means they never, uh, um, they never followed the Codex Astarte, except for because they choose to, not because they were mandated to. The salamanders follow most of the guidelines prescribed by the Codex Astarte. Although there are some notable, noticeable differences. The most obvious of these are the number and size of their companies, their adherence to the Promethean cult, and the unique rank known as the Forge Father. According to their ancient lore, their Primarch Vulcan left behind nine artifacts, nine technological relics of incredible craftsmanship wrought by his own hand. These he left for his sons to find and wield if they should prove worthy enough to discover them. The Primarch scattered these wonders across the galaxy, both to prevent mankind's enemies from winning a great store of matchless artifacts and also because he knew that even the grandest prize is worth nothing if it is seized without challenge equal to its worth. Since Vulcan's mysterious disappearance thousands of years ago, the Salamanders have appointed one of from their number to serve as Forge Father. <laughs> and that was part one. Next, we're going to go on to, yeah, if you haven't guessed it, Forge Father. What is it? Until then, bye.